Hi everyone, this is Megan Fridell from the Wisconsin Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And in this video in the Braille Note Touch Plus Beginners Bootcamp Series, we are going to talk about email. First, I want to touch on adding an account. In the resource document in the description of this video, you will find links to two different humanware um, snapshot tutorials that will go over how to set up a regular Gmail account and how to set up a Google account that does not end in gmail.com as those processes are a little different even though they're both through Gmail. Additionally, if you are setting up an account other than Gmail in addition to watching that specific video, you may want to work with your IT department or your internet provider to make sure that you have all of the right server settings in place. Additionally, sometimes there are extra um, security measures put into place and so you will need to know how to um, work with those when you're setting this up. Additionally, if your account it has two-step verification turned on. The Braille Note Touch Plus will not let you sign in. So you will need to turn off the two-step verification and then enable less sec secure apps to move forward. And we have linked more information in your resource, resource document as well. Next, let's go into working in your inbox. First, we're going to go over how you actually get into your keymail and some of the different menus. We'll touch on reading, creating messages, and some tricks and shortcuts that will make you a more efficient keymail user. Let's dig into working in your inbox and navigating around. The first thing, as I mentioned earlier, to get to your keymail, you can do a simple first letter navigation with E, or you can scroll down. So I'm going to press E. Email, Gmail. And then enter, of course. Read. And right away, it's put me in the email menu. So let's just um, use our thumb keys and see what's in the menu. So the first item. Once you've opened up your keymail, you will find a couple different menu options. The first is going to be new message, read. then read, and then I believe add an account and settings. Add account, settings. Next, let's talk about reading mail in the keymail application. To read mail if in your inbox, again, super simple. It's a matter of just remembering the command or how to get around. So you can, of course, hit enter on read, or you can also press R. Read. And then press enter. Gmail. Inbox message list. Google secure. So now I'm in my inbox, and all I need to do to go through my messages is I can use my thumb keys and just simply navigate um, through my, my different messages in my inbox. The same concept applies um, next and previous. Next will take you forward um, and then previous will take you back. And I want to remind everyone about your help and context menus in case you forget some of the commands that you need to use to read menus. So I'm just going to run through this inbox really quickly. I suspect it's going to have a lot of Google security alerts in it because I had just on in practicing for these videos, I had logged in and logged out again. So let's give it a go. Google message on red security alert at 11.13 a.m. Oh, there it is. Signed into v.at at gmail.com. Your Google account was... So all I'm doing is using my thumb keys and it'll read the um, first part of the message. And if I want to open it, I just go ahead and press enter. 11.13 a.m. And it will open the message for me. Super, super simple. 
So if you have set up your email account and have it on your device already, go ahead and give reading messages a try. Remember, you can do R plus enter and use first letter navigation or use your thumb keys to open up your inbox. And then once you're in your inbox, just use your thumb keys to navigate up and down your list of messages. Next, we're going to cover how to create a new message. Also, just a reminder, as we move through each skill, please feel free to work at your own pace through these videos and pause as needed. If you want to send an email to someone, also known as creating an email, again, super simple. All you have to do is you can either go from your menu and select new message, or you can use first letter, ah, excuse me, first letter navigation and use the um, space plus N. To edit box, compose. In this computer e braille is required. This immediately puts me in a brand new message. All you have to do is you're going to first enter who you want to send the message to. And just a reminder, you must use computer braille. Then after you're going to your, after you're done with your recipient field, you'll use Plus CC slash BCC button. You're going to move through using your thumb keys. This next option asked me about CCing and BCCing. And what that is, is carbon copy or blind carbon copy. And basically what that means is that you are adding an additional person on the email so they are aware of the message. So perhaps your mom was supposed to pick you up from practice and you don't need a ride because you're going home with a friend. So you send her an email, hi mom. I don't need a ride anymore, but you want your dad just to know, you might CC your dad on this email. Subject, edit box. Next, we have the subject line. The subject is going to be, what is the topic of your email? So in this description that I, or in this incident that I described, it might be ride home could be your subject. Compose email, edit box. And then finally, you are going to move down to the edit box where you can actually write your email and write what your message is. Also, just a reminder, when you get into the edit boxes, sometimes you may need to do an enter or press one of your cursor router keys so you can start writing. When you're ready to send your message, simply do backspace plus S and it will go ahead and send your message. Sending message settings. And that's it. And then um, if you can probably notice, it took Notification. me it took me back to my um, Gmail menu. So then you can go on to your next task, task in your email, whether it's reading messages or drafting another message. Next, I wanted to go over a really useful um, trick, which is how to search in your emails using a search term. The next tip I want to show you for working in your inbox is searching for a keyword in an email. I frequently will know that I have a message from someone or on a certain topic and for the life of me, I cannot find it. And sometimes I just want a really fast way to look for it. So I use the search feature a lot when I use email. And all you have to do if you're searching for an email on the Braille Note Touch Plus is do a space plus F, and then you're going to enter your search term. So let's give this a try. So I'm doing space plus F. Type the text to search edit box. Search. End of field. And so all I'm going to do, I'm going to search for dog. B O G. Then press enter. Dog. Gmail. Dog, edit box, search. And then I'm going to use my thumb keys to see what was found in my inbox. Clear search text, dog message list. Whoops. We didn't find anything for dog. Bottom. And so in this case, the, I knew it was likely that I didn't have any emails about dog, but that's all there is to it. And then um, if it does produce a list of messages that 
do have what you want, just go ahead and scroll with your thumb keys. And actually, okay, so now I'm going to try to search for a term that I I know will be in my inbox. Gmail. Google security alert at 11.14 a.m. So I'm going to do a space F. Type the text to search edit box. Search. And I'm going to feel. I'm going to use the term alert. A L E R T. Alert. Gmail. Alert. Edit box. Search. And I'm going to use my thumb keys to scroll and see what it has come up with. Clear search text. Alert message list. Results. Set Google security alert at 11.14 a.m. Gmail was granted access to your Google account. And then all I have to do is use my thumb keys to scroll through the messages that it found with those terms in it. Next, I would like to go over some commonly used Gmail commands. Please note, this is not an exhaustive list of Gmail commands. You can find a list of those commands in the resource document that is in the description of this video. I am going to say a couple different commands and how you execute them, and then I will give you a chance to pause and practice, or you, of course, work at your own pace and pause and practice as needed. To reply to a message, press backspace, backspace plus R. To reply to all recipients on a message, backspace plus A. Next, to forward a message, press backspace plus F. To create a new message, press space plus N. To send a message, plus backspace, press backspace plus S. To delete a message, press backspace plus dots two, three, five, and six. And then to change an email folder, press enter plus B. Finally, the last thing I want to touch on is marking messages. If you watch the files and folder video, then you are familiar with this concept. And this is almost exactly the same, um, except you're applying actions to emails instead of files and folders. So to mark a message, it's backspace plus L. And what you'll do is you will go to your inbox and you can use your thumb keys to get there. And you can um, use, or excuse me, you can use those thumb keys to navigate your messages. And then as you come across messages that you want to mark, go ahead and press backspace plus L. So some of the commands that we just mentioned, you may want to apply. Some of them, especially, I, I think the most common one is going through our email and deleting the ones that we don't want. So that's the example that I, I would want to share with you guys. And I think a good one to practice, especially if you have an existing email address, is to go through your messages and um, press backspace plus L. And then after each one, you can keep moving through your inbox. And then when you've marked all of the messages, that you are um, looking to mark, you can just go ahead and enter your command and it will um, be executed. So go ahead to give this a try. And again, I think a good um, thing to practice with this is um, going through old emails and deleting the ones you don't need to keep anymore. And that's the end of the, this video. So thank you so much for walking, watching. Please um, remember to check out the um, resource document and the cheat sheets and the super awesome snapshot tutorials from HumanWare. Thank you.